This playthrough is rated E10+. Time to find out where all that fish is made. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, now we're back here with another episode of Sam and Max Hit the Road. In the last episode, we went to the biggest ball of twine, played all the mini games, and, uh, well, now we found our, well, possibly next location. But before that, let's go back to the office and see if we have a new call on the answering machine. I think there's like five or six that appear over the course of the game. I'm not sure how it's randomized. It might be just every time you walk into the office, so... Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's flashing, as you can see there, which means there's a message. Let's find out what it is. Oh, boy, we've got a message. Gee, I hope it's something eerily provocative. Hey, you're the one who cut me off on Highway 364. You're a jerk. Yeah, uh, so there. I want to know how he got her phone number in the first place. Like, it's not like it's on her car. I don't think they have a how am I driving type of sticker on it. Okay, it's it might be every time you enter like the building specifically or this this map, but uh, we'll every once in a while I gotta remember to double check it. I should have just been doing it every episode, coming back and see if there's any more messages. But I think there's at least five, if I recall. So anyway, we're done with this place, so let's head on to. I mean, can you actually look at that? Oh well, too late now. We'll come back later, I guess. Yeah, see that suspicious looking evil cat because it has a you know eye patch. Because people with eye patches are evil. Anyway, let's head to the world of fish. Hmm. That was all nice and rustic. I've got to use this car. I like the music to this place. Very simple. World of fish. Well, it doesn't look like a world. I mean, there's fish here. Oh, look at that thing. But I would call it a world of fish. Fish feed. But maybe I'm being pedantic. I hear a distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. Weird. Ah, where's it going? Well, if you haven't already figured it out, it goes back to the biggest ball of twine for the uh, the the rotating restaurant there. So, oh, look at that, the jaw of a fish. I assume it's a shark, but I could be wrong. What's this? Well, it's a big fish, but you know what I mean. What a hunk of fillet. I'm naming it Bubbles. I'm naming it Eduardo. Can you actually use it? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Yeah. Oh, so that, that's the net where all the fish are it's going. It's a so. big fish net. We did say we needed to get to the ball of twine to the other side of the, the twine itself. I wonder if this is a way to do it. Ew, it pooted. Anyway, yeah, if you use it, all you do is just grab a fish. So we got to do something else to get inside of it. So, Oh yeah, last episode I forgot to look over my new inventory. It's a perfectly good metric left-handed spanner that's been bent out of shape. Actually, I looked at that one. Sorry, it was the uh, like dress-up game and everything. It's the official bootleg Sam and Max paint-by-number book. It's the Sam and Max dress-up book. Didn't I already have the... Uh, I guess, I think I already looked at the car bomb thing, but I'll look at it again. It's the portable car bomb game. Okay, well, anyway. Let's look at anything else before we oops, go on. Yeah, if you've already noticed, most of the Sam and Max locations are pretty short and to the point, so not like a lot of huge areas to explore. That's probably why a lot of the... Um, That's a large fiberglass fish. It's probably why a lot of the puzzles require you to go to other locations to solve because of just how short these are, so they don't take very long to uh, um, complete. So, let's see if Max has any new dialogue. Are you as confused as I am? More so. What should we do now? Let's find Bruno and Trixie and collect the fat reward. Yeah, I didn't think he had anything new there. I'm excited. Who isn't? I'm excited. Oh, okay. Who isn't? We're all excited. I didn't always want to be a cop, you know. 
Me neither. I wanted to be a Hun. I don't think that's possible anymore, but I'll, if you believe in yourself. You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Yeah, it looks like it's the same. I wasn't sure if they have a new dial. I guess they do for some of the stuff. What do you think we should do with these paper dolls? I say we go down to the scummy side of town and give a bunch of hoods some paper cuts. Dude, have you gotten a paper cut? Those things are heinous. Wanna do some painting, Max? You know us lagomorphs are colorblind, Sam. That's weird. So am I. Aren't you a lagomorph? I guess that's a joke. Why is this game called Car Bomb, anyway? To avoid getting the pants suit off us. Right, I already asked that question. But you don't wear any pants. Don't remind me. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's all. Hey, right, let's talk to this obviously nondescript gentleman here. Wretched refuse on a teeming shore. Ew. Alright, let's go to non circuit work. Something fishy's going on here. Congratulations. You're the 200th person today who said that. <laughs> we like to think we're special. You know, the guy's putting on a Woody Allen impression for those who even know who that is. So, how are they biting? Uh, they're biting pretty well. In the last hour, they've bitten an arm, two fingers, and my nose. If they bite any better, I'll need reconstructive surgery. How would they bite you? They're fish, unless unless it's when you're pulling them off the hook or something like that, which that can happen. So, how are they biting? Okay, you're just... Uh, they're biting what? pretty well. Wasn't sure the if you'd uh, have they've extra dialogue, so... Two fingers and my nose. All if right, they bite other... any better, I'll need reconstructive surgery. Yeah. So let's go to the... the uh, you must thing. really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. It's like how I'm allergic to uh, a pain. I break out in panic. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. Yeah, the game knows who they're who they're imitating. What do you know about Bigfoots? My great aunt Lois married a Bigfoot. He used to shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. Oh man! Oh geez! Oh man! I'm I'm a Clint. What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Dis, Minnesota. How sad. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. But, um, psh, no one's gonna get that joke. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus? No, I try not to listen to country music. When I do, I usually have an uncontrollable desire to drink a lot of beer and do illegal things to farm animals. You too? <laughs> I was actually about to make that joke and then Max makes it for you, so... Don't move. Alright, <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna move. He's static. See if he has, uh, what his, uh, exclamation introduction is. Boo! Don't do that! <laughs> Don't move. Let's do the question one. As soon as he uh, finishes the animation. Haven't any luck? I haven't had any luck since the day I was born. Uh, my mother doesn't believe in what I do. Oy. Don't move. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's use this uh, fiber fish over here. Still a large fiberglass fish. Yeah, Max, get over here. Let's see, can I use... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Hey, Max, come here. Yeah, we need to hide this fish for a very specific reason. Geronimo! Why'd you do that, Max? Why'd you do that? I can't talk to that. Hmm. How do we get that thing to go out, though? I can't use these things together. A tough, a tough conundrum indeed. Let's try that again. Let's 
see, I think, if I remember it correctly. I can't use these things together. Let's see. Okay. Give me just a second. I uh, don't think I miss anything. I think uh, it's something else. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. I forgot to grab something before we head off. That's what I was, like, worried about. I was like, wait a minute. What? And obvi the obvious solution, but... Okay, so we got the bu a bucket of fish here. It's a bucket of fish. Actually, Sam, it's a slimy bucket of fish. I wonder if this will in any way shape our thoughts on today's lunch. I guess I'm not having fish today, am I? Okay, let's try that again. Let's do it the right this time. Let's use it. And use the actual right item this time. But for some reason, I knew what I needed to do, but my brain just like just shut off on me for some weird reason. That happens every once in a while. Oh, I meant to get inside and use the spanner. Because it's bent in the right way so we can actually use it properly. At least in this specific situation. Because if you haven't already figured out what we're supposed to do here, we need to get this guy to throw us into the thing there, so... I guess I was supposed to use it on it first and then jump inside. That did the trick. Okay, now let's get inside. How many times can we get in a fiberglass fish? You know? It's kinda wobbly in here. And then, then you use Max to wobble around because he'll be like super aggressive, so... Hey Max, come here! It'll, his aggressiveness will come. knock the fish off. Must admire the skill with which the wily uber trout stalks its prey. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. Holy trout. <laughs> I'd always thought you were made of plaster. Sam? I'm thinking. What's that noise? It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. I told you I had a plan. Now we just have to figure out how to get that twine now. So, so yeah, we're finally on the other side of the uh, thing, so let's see if there's anything to really check. I really think we need that loose end, Sam. I think I think Max read the script somewhere. All right, anyway, let's uh, highlight. Uh, Ma uh, actually, let's see if we can grab it without Max. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. 
I can't reach it there from here. Just making sure. Anyway. Hey, Max. I've got another plan. I think I liked you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. See? That wasn't so bad. What are you two doing out here? Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. Galileo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. Thanks, helicopter. <laughs> yep, we got the, the twine that we needed. I think it's automatically in our inventory. Yep. It's 91 yards of twine. So technically, the ball is still the biggest ball of twine in the world. It's just, you know, only by one yard. So, actually, let me see if he says anything about that now that we've gra got grabbed it or not. Uh, what choice did I do with him before? Did I do the knock separator? Don't you ever get tired of sitting there? Nope. Painful splinters keep things interesting. Now, what can I do for you? What would you do if someone cut off, say, 94 yards of the ball? We'd shoot them, skin them, and sell them as jerky treats. Well, good thing no one did that. That'll be all for now. Let me see what, uh... I didn't do this last episode, so sorry about hey, that. Hey, dour docent person. Can I help you? I think I did the That'll question be all one for now. before, so. All right, we got what we currently need. Actually, we don't. I don't think we need to come back here anymore either, because we got we got what. Oh no, we need to come here one more time, but uh, that'll be for later. So let's go back to the car, head on to our next location. And actually, I might go back to the office again just to see if uh, a new message appeared. Like I said, sometimes it's based on uh, just leaving the um, area and coming back, so that way I can just kind of get these out of the out of the way. So otherwise, I'll forget. You know. I mean, it's not a big deal, but there's, like, almost no reason to come back to the office, so. Eh, nope. Must be based off time. Or maybe after certain events occur. I'm almost thinking it's a time-based thing. Like, like so many minutes in-game, there will be a new message on the machine. But I don't know specifically for sure, so. Maybe I will save it per episode. Because then a decent amount of time will have passed in between episodes, so. Alright. Well, sorry for wasting your time. I said I don't know everything about this game, despite liking it quite a bit. So, uh, all right, let's head to the uh, head to Florida, meet Florida man, or we go to the Gator golfing place. This would look great in our office. Now to get it there, that would be the tr uh, that would be the challenge. Let's see. Yep, Gator golf. Gator golf, or get her done. It's about time they close this senseless, cruel, politically incorrect attraction. It was my favorite. They always close the, the favorite ones. What is it? It looks like a couple of snakes. Everything looks like a couple of snakes to you. We well, is a rabbit, so... Yeah. What is this thing? Whoops. Come on. It's a broken golf ball retriever. Very specific. I wonder if we'll have to use that at some point. Ew. I, I hate I hate spitting in all of its form, whether it be just spitting or chewing tobacco or whatever. Ugh. It's such a bad habit. I, I know I have bad habits, but still. He's repulsive, but I can't take my eyes off of him. It's like watching a train wreck or something like that, so. He's not my type. Alright. I find your combination of golfing and alligators almost Dolly esque in its dissonance. Ditto. Wish it had been my idea. Fact is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with 10-foot-long gators. I hate when that happens. 
tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. Wonder if he's made money off of that. Hmm, I've got an inexplicable urge to buy some suitcases. Don't even joke about it, city boy. Wouldn't they be the first people to, like, uh, wear gator gear? Or is that more Louisiana than Florida? This must be a popular teen hangout. It was. Then we had that problem with the Jenkins kid. Court made me destroy my best gator over that. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? Sounds like it was the kid's fault in this case. Don't you ever leave here? Only to feed the gators. When's feeding time? Whenever there's food in front of them. <laughs> yeah, you can tell he's been feeding them a whole lot because his hands are all bandaged. Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the hand clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Isn't that dangerous? Take a look. I like the little animation of his flab every time he raises his arms. So what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoot? Don't get me started about Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered. And how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. Protective ankle wear? Okay, shackles. Okay, he was a slave, fine. What do you think of Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus? He's my idol. I've named all my kids and pets after him. I built a beer can shrine to him in the garage. I live for the day when I can meet him in person. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Man, I don't know if I could ever, like, understand someone who would be so obsessed with just a person in general in real life. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? Home, to the movies, to your love life. Hey, golf pro guy. What? I just don't go other, anywhere. Other dialogue options Where are would I go? outside of the uh, non sequitur one. Usually the sequitur one is the jokiest one. I need some help. What can I do you for? Yeah, the question one's kind of boring. Don't go anywhere. Oh, well. Where would I go? To the moon, I tell you. Anyway, let's check out Gator Golf itself. I don't know why we would, but uh, being a driver range, perhaps it's another mini game. Gator Golf. Well, let's go check inside. I mean, Max, he did. Let's go. He did say he has a. Uh, he had a Bigfoot there, so maybe there's some clues and about. And the proprietor has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot. That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> hey, look it! It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes! What are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Maybe you should watch yourself, little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. Bitten pole cat. Here you go, boss. What 
What a jerk. It's a nice five iron, though. I hate country music. That's where me and uh, Max uh, get along. Yeah, it looks like Lee Harvey there did a word on a, a bit of work on uh, Sam and Max there. So, whoops. It looks like... Nice alligators. You like roaches? Do like Max is stuck in the dunking booth, so we got to get him out of there, so... It's a bucket of golf balls. Golf clubs. Yeah, thanks for the descriptions. But how do we get over there? If we get into the water, we're going to get attacked by gators, aren't we? No, I think we can't even actually walk out there, so... Oops. It's Max. Stuck up there in the uh, little booth and everything. Oops. Four! Are you as confused as I am? More so. No, oh, he doesn't even have any extra dialogue for being stuck out there. I'm concerned about this Conroy Bumpus character. Don't worry, Sam. We'll mop up the floor with his cheap toupee. You think they would have given him unique dialogue for being, like, there? You're the, looking uh, hale and hearty, little in buddy. In the uh, little thing, but nah. Oh, well. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Okay, let's, uh, let's get well, out there. That's all. Let's see, yeah, yeah, can't dunk me. let's see if he has any extra dialogue outside of, uh... Walking back and forth, just leaving. I'm not sure what. Get me the hell out of here! <laughs> I think that might be it in terms of major dialogue. Nice alligators. Okay. You like roaches? Okay, so basically we need to make a walkway to uh, to Max. So let's uh let's uh do some swing in there. So basically what we need to do is we may we need to make all these gators like land up to him. So there's a very specific way to do this. So. It's really basically pretty simple, I'll show you, so. Yeah, yeah, can't dunk me. So we just basically need to point those flags, and that's basically where Sam will hit the ball specifically. Apparently Sam's actually a pretty good golfer, apparently, because he can hit it on point. So, yeah, maybe we have to... Let me, let me try to get a bit further away. Because you have to basically get... You have to basically do them and uh, get them to the other side of the... Gator. Actually, I think I have to actually hit him. Now that I think about it, let me, let me hit the gator himself. Let's see if that works. This form could use some work. Four. Yeah, it's been. You can tell it's been forever since I played this game because now. Uh, Because you're supposed to basically get them. I think you're either supposed to hit them or, like, get in their general area. Okay, let me try. I'll just keep hitting them. Yeah, just keep hitting them. Whatever. Okay. Let's see if we can just dunk Max right now. He and Sam steps up to the cup, hits the ball, and it dunks him. Hurrah! Hey! Yeah, yeah, can't dunk me. Let's see if he has any extra dialogue for how many times you uh, dunk him. Okay, he just has the same guy. I'm scared, Sam. Well, we're all a little, we're all a little scared, buddy. Just stay in there while I figure this out. And if you quit, he goes in that. So, let's see, yeah, I'm supposed to. Well, basically, what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to hit on. Uh, one side of the gator, and it's supposed to basically move him uh, over to the. Basically, it's supposed to shift him a bit. So, let me try. Oh. Okay. Uh, Get me the hell weird. out of here. Try. Hold on. 
you might have to, uh, might have to double check on how to do this because you're just supposed to like point it like in a direction away from them and it's supposed to shift them towards it. So, hmm. Let me try uh, hitting him like on his tail or something like that. Sorry, it's been a while since I've played this mini game, so. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like, uh, looks like Max is just going to be stuck out there. Country music. Yeah, I can see why. Looks like Max is going to be stuck out there for a while. But can't Sam get his get his golf game on? And where is Sh Shuval Shuvalul anyway? Find out next time in the next episode of Sam and Max Hit the Road. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.